Southwest Florida boating and fishing is double the fun when you're gliding through paradise on an airboat. <laughs> I couldn't have said it better, Carly. Hang on tight. You're about to enjoy serene, quiet beauty deep in the heart of the Peace River, where the only interruption is when we rev up the motor. But don't worry, nothing is disturbed, just nature's solitude that returns moments later. Deep into the swampy marsh. Whenever we're in areas like this, you really got to watch the grass and you start seeing that grass lay down and move. It's usually a gator moving. Soaked into the mystery of tropical wetlands hidden in paradise. Fire it up, Captain. <laughs> Woohoo! We head out to the heart and soul of the Peace River by airboats. Ladies and gentlemen, I need your hands and feet inside the vehicle. Captain Zach's Peace River Charter Tours glide with excitement, exhilaration, and education all in one. When you get out there, I mean, all of your senses just seem to be heightened. It just feels like you're gliding through these areas compared to, you know, a lot of boats where you're out in a heavy chop. In an airboat, it's just very, very calm, very, very serene. A serene waterway here in Florida that's still relatively untouched. No real sign of man except for us. Where are we actually at right now? Uh, we're up on the Peace River just south of Arcadia. And we saw some turkey over right, here. Is yeah. that something you normally uh, oh, see when you're... Uh, turkeys are always a big, uh, a big sight on the river. It's just a different feeling out here with nature. I mean, because you're, you're right in it. You're sitting in it yep. instead of watching. And then you've got the best view being up high on the airboat looking yeah. down. And, that, and that's the great thing about airboats, you know, um, other tour companies, they can just sit on the outside of it and let folks bring binoculars and, <laughs> and look at it. And on the airboat, we are right in the middle of it. An adventure in paradise that is sure to leave an impression far after your tour ends. <laughs> well, no trip's ever the same. Never gets old, does it? No, it never doesn't. gets old. Doesn't oh. get old. I have not been on an airboat yet. And I haven't been on a swamp buggy. We were just talking know, about this because, yeah. like you said, I was surprised that it was so smooth and it really isn't what you think because you hear, I hear them in Matt Lachey all the time. Uh -huh. They're so loud. And you think it wouldn't be that peaceful, but it is. Just like you said, the swamp buggy wasn't at all what mm -hmm. you expected, right? I know, I know. And it's such a fun way. And I think it's interesting, too, about the airboat. You assume that you have to be down in the Everglades. Mm -hmm. um, but you no. guys weren't, you know, that far down yeah. south. You were actually more further, you know, up north. The best part, too, is that you don't actually have to be, I mean, you get so close to nature, it's kind of hard to explain unless you actually yeah. try it. But you can get up where there's, I don't know, an inch of water. And you can just the boat doesn't need that much water. Well, I guess because yeah. it's an air, yeah, the oh, airboat, no. yeah. So Pretty you can cool. really, and that's the thing with the swamp buggy too. It just lets you move, maneuver into places that you normally mm -hmm. can't go. Yeah. So certainly, if the, if you haven't tried either one of those things, that would yeah. be on my top five. It's certainly things not to do very safe here. in the Everglades. You never know what you're going to see out know, there. Right? So. Well, you see a lot of that. I mean, yeah. think of the alligators too. We've done a lot of stories on them lately, but they say that yeah. people think they're these man-eating creatures, but they're really not. They're that They're supposed bad. to run away. If they're not, yeah. that means you're feeding them, which you I'm shouldn't do. I'm not saying do. go near them, but have a quite great a day, everybody. We'll see you tomorrow.